Calvin? Well, unfortunately, we talked about chance too, and probability and chance, but well, they're the same thing, they are different. We can't really use chance to define probability. Probability is. Um, outcome? Well, it's what the is? likeliness of something happening. Likeliness written as a fraction. Kind of what that means or how to think about it is like this. Let's say I have this probability line. Okay. If something, if there's absolutely positively no way something can happen, it has a probability of zero. Okay, that'd be like if I asked you what the probability is that today is Friday. Okay. Okay, that means that this is uh, did I use the word? Uh, they, they say certain not to happen. If it's certain not to happen, then it is a probability of zero. If it is absolutely certain to happen, then it has a probability of one. For example, the probability that you're sitting in math class right now, the probability of you getting homework, it might be 50, 50. All right, so that means this, right in the middle, okay, you have a fraction one half, and that means it is as likely as not to happen. As likely as not. It means it's right down the middle. Flipping a coin is supposed to be a probability of one half. If it's completely fair. I don't know if you flip a coin. Now, now notice, you know, if you flip a coin ten times, the probability that it lands on a head five times is one half. Okay? But that's not always going to happen. That's why probability is not a, always a certain thing. There are some, you know, things that are not exactly cut in stone. And then anything from here to here. Anything from zero to one half is unlikely to happen. And anything from one half to one is likely to happen. Okay. Now let's take a look at a spinner here. You got that written down? Oh, a nice little circle here with a spinner. And write on this thing A, B, and C. You have to be careful with this. If I asked you what the probability, and this is in math how we do it, put the capital letter P, the probability of spinning a B. Here's where you have to be, first of all, just a little careful. A little spinner, a little arrow. What is my probability of spinning a B? Well, DJ? Okay, you're jumping into chance again. I asked for probability, which is always a fraction. You gave me, you gave me chance, I asked for probability. It's a good thought, and you're right, it is a 25% chance, but that's not what I asked for. Well, Jacob? Ah, one fourth. It is, one fourth. Now, the bottom number of the fraction is how many equal equal outcomes there are. And if you look at this, there's only three outcomes, but the problem with this spinner is that, Peter? A is one half. Right. You really need to think about A as being two, cutting it into two equal pieces there. Okay? Because A actually takes up two that are equal size of that. So you know that the probability of spinning a B, how many total pieces are there? There's four, and only one of them is a B. Okay, does that mean that once out of every four times you will spin a B? No, I could spin this thing 20 times and get C every time. Well, that's not likely to happen, but it could happen. Probability is not a guaranteed sort of thing. I mean, it's a, it's a likeliness thing. The more you do something, the more the probability will come out. I can tell you if I spun this a million times, which would take a long time, it's going to get, keep getting closer and closer to this. It's just the way probability works. 
What about the probability of spinning an egg? Right? Right, one half. And the, where that comes from is you still have four different, four different quarters, but two of them are A's. So two out of the four pieces are A, and that reduces down to one half. And then the probability of me spinning a C is loot. Yeah, same thing, one fourth. Now, if you would be so kind as to very quickly, just so 